Welcome to our channel. Let's do it together. I have to say thank you to my flowers, my garden for giving me joy during the spring to fall, giving me a lot of flowers. Till next spring. Today we're gonna harvest some dahlias. The dahlia tubers. So we gotta keep it inside our home because they need to be in warm place during the winter days because we have a very harsh winter where we live. And as you see, they already fall, and I know it's still okay, but it's already like they have the first frost uh, last night, so they will not do good anymore. You show what the other dahlias over there? Okay, this is the other dahlias we have, and wait, there is more. Also here, here, and here. Here's like a little art, can you see that? It's beautiful. First, we're gonna harvest the same variety of dahlia so that you will not be mixed up with other varieties so I will get this variety of dahlia so I can put it in one box so I will not mix it with other one because I have like four variety of dahlia cut cut before we dig the tubers we cut them You cut it. Now I will gonna get my garden fork. So my mom used her foot to push the fork in the soil so she can dig the roots. The dahlia tubers. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see how much it grows. How much dahlia tubers we got. Oh, it's a lot. So we got everything. So what we do with these uh, dahlia tubers? We will gonna wash it so it gonna take out some soil. Once it dry, we'll put it in a cardboard box. The box it's made of paper. They absorb the humidity, so they will gonna be healthy during the winter days inside your home to avoid some fungus and some uh, tubers disease. This one is not much tubers because I didn't plant it long time. Let's see. Maybe not, maybe yes. Yeah. How many tubers do we have? <laughs> Focus more, darling. Oops. I missed the other one. So, it looks like tiny bamboos. No. It looks like potato. No, like the outside. <laughs> mm. Wow. Bad. It's a lot. Yeah, not that. Look. I wish those the tubers are potatoes. Oops. They divide by themselves. So for me, I don't want to divide it by myself because sometimes uh, the dahlia sprout on that side. So I don't want to miss that. So usually I divide them during springtime when I see the eye of the tubers. See? It's a lot, hey? Yeah. It's a lot. I didn't expect that much. Yeah. I knew it. Never lose hope, everybody. Okay. It might come true. This one cut by themselves so this one as i'm telling you sometimes you get lucky they're gonna have a sprout in here but sometimes not usually they sprout in this area so usually i don't cut them so once i will cut it shorter because this is loop is the longer i will cut it until here and this one you see how compact they are so i will just divide it one is springtime once i saw the eye where it sprouted as you see guys you also need to inspect your dahlia tubers look at this one can you focus a bit uh -huh. you can see that 
so this one as you see is already mush so that is what happened if your dahlia is you plant it in an area that not much drainage the tubers tendency to be rot like this so this one is no good because if you put it with the rest of your dahlia they gonna infect the other dahlia so you have to just throw it out so that's why all the dahlia you have to inspect those things this is not good anymore i don't want to take a chances that i will put it there and that's also the other reason why we dig out the dahlia before it becomes very cold because these tubers will gonna be much like this now my mom is gonna wash it so it'll be clean yeah so to take out some uh, insects maybe there's a worm in there or some hair so we're gonna wash it and we're gonna let it dry before we put it in the stocking in our baking so that is done so it's gonna stay uh, in our solarium for a couple of days or more than that it depends how you're gonna dry because if you're gonna put them in that stock room wet like this it will gonna cost up uh, rotten or fungus or mold in your dahlia tubers so we just finished only one variety so once you see like this you have to dig it out because this thing will not do good to your dahlia tubers they're gonna infect the other tubers so beware of that okay then look at that so 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 nice and it's plus it's clean yeah and this is all what we got from this only this variety see how big it is gonna start harvest the other variety same procedure so let's go look at this beautiful flower uh, too bad tonight the temperature will reach like minus six degrees celsius so these flowers will gonna get frozen so we have to collect them all our flowers and lucky isabel she can put it in her room yeah so we're gonna collect those flowers because they're gonna get wasted. Look how beautiful they are. Uh -huh. Look. Look at that. We're gonna collect now the tubers of this one. But the flowers, we like these flowers to put in our home. It's so beautiful. Hey there, put in your room. Okay. So we take the giant dahlia. See how many tubers you can get from here? Let's hope there's a lot. Yeah, let's hope. Last year I only planted one tuber here. Oh, something fell in there. Oh, the lot. Look at that guy. Yeah, it's so big. You got a lot of tubers. Yeah, and something left in there so we can get it. So sometimes there's an accident. Some tubers will gonna fell like this. So we still gonna put them to put inside. Maybe they will gonna give the dahlia shoot next week. So don't lose hope. So we're gonna wash it. And I will just check still inside it. Maybe something uh, I miss it. So this is the variety of dahlia we collect now and we're gonna see how much dahlia tubers it got because this one is really good. We're gonna see how big it grows and down over here. I hope it will not disappoint us my love. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. You know why I say not bad? It starts only one bulb, each of them. That's why maybe you see that is the first bulb I've planted. So we have to take it out so that it will not cause up the disease of our tubers. We cannot see. Let's that. see if there's more inside. I don't think so. Yeah. But this dahlia gives us a lot of 
so no more. <laughs> so lot of earthworm. Yep. Okay. Gonna leave it like that. Trim the imperfections of your thighs. Gonna see. <clears throat> wow, it get a lot. It started in a very small tubers when I planted. And it's amazing. More in here. So yeah, but there's a big potato there. Potato, yeah, but I call it potato. It looks like a potato, that's why. Yep. Let's move to this side. Let's go see. Dun, 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 dun. Hope it's big, hope it's big, hope it's big. Oh, that much. We're gonna see. But we got a lot before, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but this variety doesn't give as you can see, this dahlia doesn't grow that big because there's not much sun in this area. This is the last one. The last variety we gotta collect. I hope they will give me more dahlia tubers this year because last year I only got one tuber. Okay, let's... Because what happened? The squirrel eat that. Most of the, this tuber last year. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't say sorry. Because... <laughs> I did a bad thing. I didn't cut it. That guess what happened when you get lazy. At the end part. So at the end, you must do the same method as you do. Don't do the shirt. You have to cut from the stem, main branch of Dahlia. Never lose the tubers. Where are you, tubers? Oh my god, where is it? Where is it? There. See? That's why right, that's we don't pull like what I did. Okay? That's the lesson. Maybe that's why I do that. They okay. want to stay in the ground, I guess. It's like, no! It's not our time. Yes, it's your time, bro. See, guys? What happened? I should not pull it. Main stem of the top. <laughs> this is gonna be like this. See, it give me a hard time now to pull it. <laughs> and I don't want to ruin it. Come on, bro. Okay. Baby Handle brother. It free. Handle it with. Oh, gentleness. Wow. wow. It's a lot. It's a lot. Not bad. So next year, I'm gonna have more of this variety. I'm happy. Go around, maybe. Because last year I want to share this variety, but I only have like one tuber from previous spring. So I decided to put the dahlia tubers inside our basement because in the solarium it's gonna be super cold also during the night time and early in the morning. To make sure my dahlia is uh, safe from being frozen. I put the, the ventilation on so that gonna be completely dry before I put in the stack room. You have to put it in a dark place and once it's completely dry, I will put the vermiculite and I will put the name now. Can you help me put the name? I'm just put the size. This one is two, two kinds of uh, Dahlia, the one in here, I will put it. <gasps> Look at that! I have to kill this thing. That is. Oh. Uh, what is this? This is the Inora Sunset. Yeah, Dahlia. We all know it's Dahlia. And this one, um, this is this is a. Um, Spoiled, spoiled rat. Yeah, no, spoiled rotten dahlia. Rotten, rotten. I don't know. That's the name. Rotten. We know the, the dahlia. That is the lilac white plus white. There you go. And this one is easy. This is dahlia ivona. We'll, we'll just put it ivona. That is huge, huge variety of dahlia. Red plus white. 
and this one as usual it's easy it's the red dahlia I just put the red there you go so that you know what is look at the dahlia that we just dig out yesterday they are almost dry and uh, you see it's still a bit wet under so we want them to really really dry our dahlia tubers they are already dry as you can see you have to reach this dryness before you cover them look even underneath it's so dry so because i put the tissue paper sugar baby this is a tissue paper it's made of this material so i decided not to put vermiculite because that is expensive so it can work with the tissue paper i got it from my shoe boxes where i keep all my shoes so i just gotta cover it this the bottom we're gonna put the red dahlia by the way i tried this dahlia for like three days so i cover them like this and i gotta put another tuber Dahlia tuber, which is huge Ivona, the red and white variety. I'll just put like this, so I know which one. Because it's hard sometimes you plant them because they are all look the same, the tubers. Well, so, for me, uh, the other one's like circle, and this one is like long. long. Oh, you're so smart. So if you're smart like my daughter, you know the difference. But sometimes like this, you will you cannot tell yeah, the difference. Yeah, but most of them is not. Yeah. So that's how this I one over here looks, looks like a carrot. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I categorize my dahlia tubers. So I will not mix. Them. And the next one, I will put these spoiled rotten lilac. Yeah, the color is lilac. Plus white. white. Yeah, they are mixed. Why am I spoiled? It's not even a real person. I don't know. Spoiled. So the reason why I do this, so that we minimize the space in your storage. It's okay if you have a big storage, but we don't have big storage in our dark room. So I want to minimize the space. I want to put them all in one box. Look at this big boy. It's so big. Yeah. So how try it is? So if you leave them with some Oh my god. I keep talking and melange it. Ha ha. Ha, ha ha ha. I know now. This is the Kilora sunset. See guys, don't get Distracted. I know that this one is Kinora Sunset, but I don't know the rest. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Yeah, Just that is Kinora Sunset because I know I have four different variety of uh, Dahlia. That's why you're like, huh? Where's the fourth one? Where's the fourth one? <laughs> oh my goodness. And we gotta cover it like this. And we'll put in our dark room in the basement. So well, we are already in the basement. Yeah. So that they know that we're in we gonna put it in the basement. So I show you guys from time to time you have to check your dahlia, see if there's some mold or mildew that is forming to your dahlia. So you have to check that. And don't close it too tight. Leave that least open a little bit like this. Yeah, it's like. You so know that this still can breathe. Like you haven't, you open it and you took off the tape. Just like pretend you closed it and then it'll just ready float up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't do these sides, but just do this side. Yeah. Only like that. So this is just the open side it. that you, we didn't put the name. Mm -hmm. So you won't get a little complicated with it. So the update is gonna be this springtime once we are ready to plant them. Again, outside. For sure, next year I gotta have a lot of Dahlia outside in our garden. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.